We could, and some of those storms could actually become severe. That's why today is a storm team alert day. We've had a few showers this morning north of the Triangle for the most part, and those are now moving out of Mecklenburg County and Northampton County. We're going to be in wait and see mode for the next few hours. How much thunderstorm activity is going to redevelop? Not much at first, but our rain chances really go up as we head into this evening, especially just before the sun goes down. That's when we're going to see the most widespread storms, probably the strongest storms, and then those are going to fade out as we head through the rest of tonight. In terms of that severe weather threat, it's a pretty good chance of rain overall. Better than a 50 50 chance of at least some free lawn watering, but we have to be concerned about the potential for damaging straight line winds and large hail. Those are the two primary concerns. This does not look like an ideal setup for any tornadic activity. We'll keep an eye on it just in case. Overall, it's a slight risk of severe weather, which means we expect showers and storms. A few of those could prompt some severe thunderstorm warnings. And for the short term, it's just warm and it's muggy. 88 degrees in Chapel Hill. In fact, we can call that hot. 83 degrees on campus at NC State. You're a little bit cooler. There has been some cloud cover to shade at least a few locations. Not Fayetteville. You're at 90 degrees yet again. Same thing around Pinehurst. Only 79 in Roxborough and Roanoke Rapids because you've had those showers moving through, cooling things off, or at least keeping things from getting as warm. We're going to reach up to around 90 degrees by mid-afternoon in the Triangle. Winds not as strong as yesterday, and then that best chance of those scattered thunderstorms is going to develop. We'll take a look at that with FutureCast, and we'll check out the weekend forecast in just a few minutes.